Hi guys, it's Iced Hazelnut, and I just want to do a quick, a quickie <laughs> DT haul. So today I picked up this. Um, this is my third box, although I'm still working on the first jar. I love this stuff for my face, so that's. They have like a they had another kind, I think a brightening one, but so far. This works really good for me, and I love the smell of Manuka honey. I have had Manuka honey in other, uh, like, lotions and all that, and so I just love it. There we go. And that's what that is. And let's see. I've never seen these before. They had also a bear, a tiger... And like maybe one or two other animals, but see how big they are compared to my hand. So there it is. The kitty cat and I love this pink leopard, cheetah, whatever you want, animal. <laughs> big cat, one might say. So and I know it's just one sticker for the dollar twenty-five, but I love the I love it. It's just so cool. It's got, it's got a bit of dimension to it. I don't know if you can tell. There. You can see the dimension. See that? Pretty cool. And then a few weeks ago, I'll show you stuff I bought just within the past few weeks. I, I only get like maybe one thing once every couple weeks because I don't really need that much. So... I want to try my hand at, and I haven't done it, I actually learned in grade school, that was a very long time ago, to do lino, do your own, make your own stamps, uh, so, or, yeah, stamp, or, I forgot what, what the other term is for that, but these can be pretty pricey in, like, Michaels and, and other hobby shops or art, art stores, art and craft stores, so for a buck, I figured I'd try it, use for the lino cutting. If you want to know more about lino cutting, just look it up on, uh, you make, make prints too, you know, make your own design, cut it out on the, I think lino is short for linoleum. If not, I'm not mistaken, but if I am, check out one of those videos. <laughs> and then I've got this, you, I can always use little containers for either beads or paint or what have you. Uh, I bought plastic ones in the past, but inks if you want to have like a little ink in each and i know i have all these videos about how i de-stashed my stickers so these are stickers i bought in the past year just this year and it's minimal because you know i de-stashed in 2020 i think or 2021 was my first time i de-stashed stickers and then i did all those videos last year or this year i think at the beginning of the year and so these are my favorites I bought this year. This is like, I love this. I have another set. It's here on my desk. I just look at it every day and it makes me smile. I love the otters. <laughs> and then I saw these, had to have these too. They just bring a smile to my face. And then these guys. So cute. And then recently I picked this up like last month when they started coming out with the Halloween stuff. So sorry for the glare. They're kind of dimensional. I don't know if you can tell. Spooky. And then these are cool. I love this like um, antique look to them. Almost steampunkish. this yes I'm very picky with my stickers now like I said because I don't want to build up another big thing of stickers and then have to do another D stash and this one because I collect globes and I loved that globe and then this one And then 
I haven't, I haven't, I think I've seen butterfly ones that are like this three dimensional. Let's see, you see that? But um, I have like a, I de-stashed a bunch of those because I'd get double sometimes and I'm like, I really, I use them here and there in my junk journal or my, I've been doing glue books and, but I love dragonflies and I had to get this one. Sorry for the glare. There we go. Da, da, da. Sorry for the messy desk. Too. <laughs> and that's it. So thanks for watching. Catch you later.